Hi, my name is Mr. Exum and welcome to my EdTech channel, where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. This video shows you how to use the collaboration space in a class OneNote, a really useful way to get groups of students working together. I will also show you how you can tell which students have added content to the collaboration space pages. So let's get started. Okay, so here I am in a class notebook and down the left hand side you can see the various sections. We've got the collaboration space, the content library, the teacher only area and then all the student notebooks. So this video is all about this area called the collaboration space. Now the collaboration space is an area where anybody can add any content. It doesn't matter whether you're a teacher or a student, you can add content to the collaboration space. So it's completely editable by everybody. So if you were doing a group project, you could make different pages for different groups and the groups could work within those pages to plan their projects, for example. Here is some pictures from a practical that we did and we want, I wanted them to share the best images between each other so they could then put that into their own personal notebooks. Okay, and here is an example in this section and this page where I've got different students to add uh, their favourite topics that they've been studying recently. And what you can see, which is interesting, is next to the sentence is a little uh, initial. Now, if I right click on that, I'm going to get a name and a date and time of what, uh, when they added that content. So this allows me to see who's been working in a collaboration space. One other um, way I can do that or to get further information about who's been editing the page is to right click on the page and do page versions. And then I can see who edited the page when and I can click on, on it to see what the, the page was when they added it. And I can restore it back to an earlier version if I want. So very easy to set up uh, pages for them to work on in groups, to collaborate, to plan, to brainstorm. And then by checking who's been adding that content, there is that level of accountability as well. So there you go, another great reason to use OneNote. Please visit my channel for more great OneNote tutorials. For now though, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.